Liquid IV, Element, Ultima Replenisher, Noon, Trace Minerals, Beam, Flav City, IQ Bar. These are some of the biggest electrolyte brands in the country. They're everywhere, Costco, Whole Foods, TikTok, Instagram. It's in every gym bag. It's in every influencer's wellness routine. So I investigated them. Using the same process I use in every single product review, I reached out to 33 electrolyte companies asking for one simple thing. Show me your certificates of analysis to prove that your minerals are clean, to prove that your electrolytes are free of heavy metals, PFAS, pesticides, microbes, and mold, and to ultimately prove that your product is safe. And here's what happened. Most brands did not respond. Some refused, but some of them sent their certificates of analysis. And only eight companies showed up fully for us. I don't care how popular a brand is, whether you're the best seller, celebrity back, doctor formulated, or trendy packet all over social media, if these companies are dodging basic safety questions, they're being called out. I am Dr. Christian Gonzalez, a naturopathic doctor, somatic practitioner who believes the nervous system is everything for your mental and physical health and that we deserve to know what is affecting it. We deserve to know what we're putting in our body and where we're putting our money. Hydration is not just drinking more water. It's about cellular electricity, nervous system, charging up, balance, and clean minerals that actually are going to support your overall physiology. Today, I'm breaking down the electrolyte powders that truly hydrate your brain and body and the ones you should never spend your money on again. This is the truth about electrolytes. Electrolytes, they regulate every single electrical signal in our body. Hydration is everything. It's life. And they control how much water moves in and out of our cells. That's why electrolytes are so important. Now, the nervous system needs electrolytes. Brain, spinal cord, or nerves going through our whole body, our organs, they communicate through neuronal firing. And this firing needs sodium and potassium gradients. We need electrolytes. We also need it for energy production. Electrolytes are going to support the production of ATP in your body, cellular fuel. Electrolytes are so, so, so important for the nervous system. They help our stress, our mood, our cognition. Any imbalance of electrolytes in the body are going to mimic anxiety, fatigue, irritability, brain fog, headaches. We need sodium, potassium, magnesium, chloride. We need electrolytes. We need minerals in our body for our body to function. But let me tell you something. Most electrolyte powders out there do not tell you the truth about their sourcing. They're not. If it's contaminated, they're not. They're testing. They're definitely not. And when a brand hides this third-party testing, doesn't want to show it, keeps it under a rock with a lock over that rock and then locks that with a key and not allows us, the consumer, to see what we're consuming, that's problematic. Not just for electrolytes, any company. Transparency is so important. Whether they believe that you can read a COA or not, it's important that they're standing tall and showing that their company is a quality company and their product is a quality product. So if they don't provide it, I'm not going to assume that they're hiding something, but it is problematic, especially when other companies are showing up. So here's what we found. 25 companies did not respond at all. One company responded, but didn't unfortunately provide their certificate of analysis. That was a big bummer. And three companies didn't respond, but we actually found their certificates of analysis online, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And only eight companies really responded to our list of questions, which were designed to get a full understanding of the company's quality and purity and efficacy and provided their COAs. When a company did both, that's like, okay, great, Dr. G approved. High standards, Dr. G approved, because now I can vouch for them. And hopefully now the trust that you built in me over all of these years, you can now vouch for them too. And I urge you, do your own investigation, do your own work, become your own advocate. So yes, yeah, some of the biggest names in the entire wellness and hydration space, the beams of the world, the elements, the ultimate replenishers, liquid IVs, Flav City, Trace Minerals, IQ Bars, Noon, all the ones that you're seeing in the stores, they either didn't respond, they didn't provide testing, or kind of just failed the overall transparency criteria. So popularity, remember, doesn't equal purity. Nice branding doesn't equal purity. So here's exactly what we asked every company. Ingredients. Where are the minerals coming from? Is it natural versus synthetic? Uh, what about flavor agents and sweeteners? Is it non-GMO, organic? Do they use artificial colors or flow agents? The safety testing is huge. We gotta know about heavy metals. We gotta know about microplastics, pesticides, microbial contamination, PFAS, BPA, phthalates. And we only wanted the most recent batch certificates of analysis. We didn't want something from 2020, 21, 22, none of that. We want the 2025 gold. 
We want to know if they're manufacturing under GMP, NSF, ISO, GFSI standards to make sure that it is a quality product getting into your hands. And we want to know about product integrity. We want to know about sweeteners, added sugars, fillers, uh, colorings, packages, leaching, transparency. We want to know that is the COA public or by request? Uh, how often is this batch testing frequency? Are they testing the finished product or is it just the supplier COAs that they're getting? If they couldn't answer these, they couldn't be Dr. G approved. So before we get into this list, know that I do these product reviews all the time. I've been doing them for years. And you're probably wondering what companies are the best coffee companies or matcha companies or lipstick companies. We do them all. And there's a master list we created that is updated with every product review. And there's a master list in the show notes with every product review we've ever done to supply you with all the information. This is your guide, your shopping guide. Give this to people you love. It's going to be really important. And it's the best reference when it comes to consumer goods. So here's a company that responded but did not provide the certificate of analysis. Unfortunately, Sub Luna. Hopefully next year we can get the full transparency package and get the certificate of analysis. But without knowing about heavy metals or PFAS or microbial data, I can't vouch just this year. But I think they're a company that's going the right way. Here are companies we reached out to we couldn't get in touch with. They couldn't provide anything, but they had their certificates of analysis on the website, which is a good thing. Companies should have their certificate of analysis on the website. And that's a really good quality for a company to have. So the first one was Element. I've worked with them for a long time. I think it's a good electrolyte. They are a high sodium electrolyte that is really made for athletics. So I use it every time I'm doing sauna or running or doing anything physical, really, where I'm really, really sweating. I think it's really, really good. Um, their certificate of analysis online look really good, low heavy metals. So although we can get online, we still wish our list of questions were able to be answered so I can get the full Dr. G approval. Um, so not just yet, maybe next year. Cure hydration, same thing. Natural coconut water based. They had a clean COA online, but we couldn't get a direct reply. The same thing goes with Taylor Dukes. They have a botanical gentle hydration blend. Their COA looks good online, but no response from them for our question. So we couldn't give them the full Dr. G approval. Now let's go into the companies that you should stay away from. And by stay away, I mean companies that we had no correspondence with. I, I don't know anything about them. I don't know if they're a good company. So we just can't put any stamps of approval with these companies. Could be great. But without any transparency packages, we don't know. No COAs, no questions answered. We just don't know. So there are better companies. Here are companies to stay away from. Liquid IV, Noon, Ultima Replenisher, Dr. Berg, and Thorne. And why? We just couldn't get any answers from them. No questions, no COAs. We don't know anything about their flavoring. We don't know anything about their documentation. But here's a good company, Kono, K-O-N-O. This was a new one on the rise, new to the game. The COA looks really good. Low heavy metals, no detectable levels of glyphosate. I like that they test glyphosate and it's coming from an accredited lab. They have a citrus rehydrate formula. It's simple, straightforward. This is something that can be used every single day just to get in your electrolytes. It's best for anyone wanting a clean, budget-friendly daily hydration mix without needing all the extra oomphs, the lefts and rights. You just got what you need. There it is. Did you know that proper hydration depends on the precise balance of sodium and potassium and the fluid inside and outside of your cells? And when electrolytes are actually low, guess where water goes? Water moves through your system instead of really entering and hydrating those cells. So that's why electrolytes really matter. Here are other companies to stay away from that did not pass our investigation for 2025. True Labs, Water Boy, Bubs Naturals, Quench Hydration with a C in the beginning, and Health Nag. A good company, just ingredients. The COA looks really good with all heavy metals testing at extremely low levels. Just Ingredients, uh, Coconut Lime Electrolytes was the one that I looked into. It's a whole food electrolyte, minimal ingredients. It's a hydration mix, no synthetics, no unnecessary additives. The heavy metals look really good, and that's notable because it's a food-based formula. And that's really notable because when you have a food-based formula that typically sources minerals from less refined ingredients, the heavy metals can be a lot higher, but it's really impressive. And these electrolytes are for anyone who wants a natural, family-friendly hydration option with exceptionally low levels of heavy metals. Did you know that potassium drives the water into your cell and sodium helps keep it in your bloodstream? Both are really important for hydration. This is why potassium rich drinks without sodium will fail during workouts or heavy sweating. You want both, you need both. 
more companies to stay away from that did not pass our investigation. Body Bio, Peak, Trucy Moss, Flav City, and Organica with a K. Good company, Jigsaw. I actually haven't heard of this one. The COA look really good, extremely low levels of heavy metals, far below strict safety standards. And Jigsaw, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a new company to me. Uh, impressive. I was really happy about it. The Jigsaw Electrolyte Supreme is a comprehensive electrolyte blend and includes minerals plus added B vitamins and supportive micronutrients. And the heavy metal profile looks great for arsenic, cadmium, mercury, lead, all at ultra low levels for top purity. It's a really good electrolyte for someone who wants both clean mineral rehydration and added micronutrient support and low heavy metals. Did you know that magnesium is involved in more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body to help regulate the nervous system tone? So when magnesium is actually low, these excitatory signals increase, which can have you feeling like you're anxious or agitated or you're disrupted in your sleep. All right, more companies that did not pass our investigation for 2025, Free Soul, IQ Bar, Nord Code, Santa Cruz Paleo, and Pro Mix. Good company to support transparent labs. The COA look really good with all heavy metals well below Proposition 65 levels. Transparent Labs Hydrate is a formula that is really performance focused. So all of you going to the gym, this is a really good one. All of you running around, doing the marathons or the run clubs, this is a really good one. And it's that focus electrolyte designed for the athletes who want that sweet tasting hydration mix with a little bit of sodium and minerals for really high level training intensity. It's fantastic. Yeah, and when it comes to this, the electrolyte is best for anyone who really wants clean, athletic oriented electrolytes that are great tasting and you don't have to worry about heavy metals, thank God. Did you know that high sodium without enough potassium can elevate your cortisol and can actually activate your sympathetic nervous system? So you may be feeling wired but tired. Potassium is really nice at calming you down too. So many people will confuse that wired but tired feel with dehydration, but really their sodium is just really high. Other companies to stay away from, Body Health, Salud, Legendary Milk, Feel Goods, No Wasted Days. Company that passed the test for 2025, Dr. G approved Paleo Valley Electrolytes. The COA look really good, clean overall, clean heavy metals. We looked at the orange and the watermelon one. They take whole food, they're a whole food leaning company, natural flavor approach with none of those artificial sweeteners or synthetics, which gives an electrolytes a more natural taste overall. Their heavy metal tests shows us that they're solid sourcing, making sure their heavy metals are really low across their formulas. The electrolytes, these electrolytes are fantastic. They're great for anyone who wants a clean, natural, simple hydration mix without any artificial ingredients and who really wants that whole food formulation. Did you know that plant-based ingredients naturally are, are going to absorb minerals from the soil? They're also going to naturally absorb heavy metals from the soil, which is going to increase that variability in testing. So this is why a lot of, and this is why independent heavy metal screening is essential for whole food formulas. You want to make sure, even though it's whole food, they're independently being tested for. Here are companies to stay away from for 2025 that did not pass our investigation, B-U-O-Y. I'm going to say something about them. Really interesting. You go online, you see their certificates of analysis. They look pretty good and they're not official documents. You got to you gotta click it and post the PDF, right? So what we have is a website designed with different cells that are filled in with the results of their certificate of analysis, but we really need to see the certificate of analysis, that it really is truly third party. If the, the numbers are reflectant of the true third-party testing for B-U-O-Y, B-U-O-Y, B-U-O-Y then, um, then great. Then they, they look pretty good. But also we reached out to them and couldn't get anything. Other companies that did not pass our investigation, Lido, L-I-D-O, Ballerina Farm, which is interesting. My girlfriend watches the vlogs, Humantra, and HealthNag. Another company to champion for 2025, Seeking Health. The COA looked excellent. Very clean heavy metals across the board for berry and lemonade flavors. Seeking Health's electrolytes look really good. It's a functional formula and combines minerals and added nutrients. So they utilize things like trimethylglycine and supportive cofactors for energy, methylation, and cellular performance. This is more of a, I would say, naturopathic functional blend electrolyte. And the metals come back extremely clean, which is really impressive for something that is nutrient dense that can actually have a higher risk of contamination because of all the nutrients and their sourcing. So this electrolyte is best for someone who wants clean hydration mix, but also something that's going to support 
energy production, and detox pathways, as well as cellular resilience. And I mentioned trimethylglycine, but did you know trimethylglycine, TMG, supports the methylation cycle? And this is really important because it regulates neurotransmitters in your body, especially how your brain communicates, detoxification, and mitochondrial energy. Many studies out there, you can look it up, show that trimethylglycine can improve homocysteine levels, which is going to improve cellular balance and cellular resilience, especially with all the environmental insults that we're being exposed to. Another batch of companies to avoid, Trace Minerals, Dr. Berg, Designs for Health, True Labs. Another company, I've been following her for a while, Healthily. The COA looked really good. All the heavy metal testings within safe range. Minerals and Chill is their electrolyte, and it is a calming mineral-focused electrolyte. So it's designed not only for hydration, but to support your nervous system, to calm the body, to be at a relaxed state, to balance stress, and Lord knows we all need that nowadays. So this electrolyte is best for anyone who wants a good hydration mix, low heavy metals, but something that's going to promote relaxation, calm, reduce stress versus uh, going to the gym and running sprints. This is something that you can take every day, especially if you're prone to stress or going to have a very stressful day. Did you know that potassium is essential for proper neuronal firing because it maintains this electrical gradient across the nerve membrane. So when potassium is low, neurons are going to misfire more easily. And that can lead to you feeling like you're anxious, irritable, or even having heart palpitations. And the last company, but not least, is the Beam Electrolytes. The COA look really good with safe heavy metal levels across the board. And this is a little different of electrolyte complex because a lot of electrolytes are salt derived. This one is from fulvic and humic mineral derivations. And so it is naturally going to have a lot of trace minerals and their certificate of analysis reflected that. The trace minerals in there are naturally higher due to it being fulvic and humic mineral product rather than the standard electrolyte blend. So that was really good to see, but it was really good to see also the heavy metals really low. When electrolytes and minerals are coming from fulvic and humic mineral complexes, these are sourced from ancient soil deposits rather than isolated salts that need added flavorings and things like that because this ancient soil is essentially concentrated trace mineral extract. The metal profile has a risk of being really high. It was a pleasure to see that it wasn't and it was really low, so that was really good. Beam is a little bit different of an electrolyte. I'm actually intrigued by it a lot. And it's best for anyone who wants a deep spectrum trace mineral complex, who wants fulvic and humic acid support. This is a unique electrolyte complex, different than the others, because it's coming from ancient soil versus salt. And this is for anyone who wants an electrolyte that also has trace minerals and low heavy metals. So it can be an everyday thing or a performance thing. So go check them out. And lastly, did you know that fulvic minerals can bind to nutrients and actually enhance the transportation across cell membrane? It's really cool because it improves the absorption of trace minerals and supports clear cellular communication. So really, really dope. All right, so check it out. Out of all these electrolyte companies, 33 to be exact, eight pass with full transparency. Electrolytes really do drive hydration. They're essential every single day. You wanna make sure you are eating a balanced diet. And if you are athletic and you are sweating, you gotta take some electrolytes. They support nervous system stability, mitochondrial energy, cardiovascular flow, the rhythm of your heart, cellular communication. It's involved in every single process. You wanna make sure that you are feeding your body the proper electrolytes and the proper balance. Eat really well, get diversity of all of the foods. But remember, if you are working out, if you are sweating, you gotta start considering these, especially if your kids are in athletics and they're dripping in sweat better than the Gatorade. Contaminated electrolytes are problematic. They are going to burden your system, especially if it's every single day. So you want to stick with the brands that prove their purity, like the ones that we spoke about. And as always, go to the master list. If you missed it, it's in the show notes. Click on it and you get every updated category with the best of the best from this year and years before. So there you have it, electrolytes for 2025. We will do a review next year and I'm excited to see what comes up. Go support the companies that support us.